Good morning, everyone, and welcome, welcome, welcome once again to Go For God Family Church. My name is Barbie, and I am excited to be here with you this morning. It is still Oktoberfest. We've been doing it amazing all month, and we're not done yet. We started off with a bang, and we're going to end with an even bigger bang. So I hope you are ready. Everybody in here ready? They're ready. They're ready. So I hope you're ready at home. First timers, if anyone in here joining us for the very first time today, can I see your hands? Hands up. I see my uncle up there. Yes, I see some more down here. We've got first timers in the house. So if we have any first timers joining us online right now, let us know that you are joining us for the very first time. Also, I'd like to invite you to visit goforgod.org. We've got tons of amazing resources there just for you. In particular, there's a little tab that says, I'm new. Please fill out that little tab, all the information there. Let us know who you are and how we can pray with you and for you. We'd love to stay in touch with you. Now, today, we've got some special people in the house today. Does anybody know who's here? Special people, can I hear you? Anybody in here that thinks they're special? Yeah. Well, we've got some extra special people in the house with us today. We want to specially welcome the Kiwanis Club of Capital City, Kingston, here joining us today. Yes. They're worshiping with us this morning for their first church service of the administrative year of 2021, 2022. Them gone ahead of we in 2022. So they are worshiping with us here for the first time for that year, everybody. Big them up and welcome them. Give them a real go for God welcome. Now, just a little information for you. Kiwanis is a global organization of volunteers dedicated to changing the world, one child and one community at a time. I can definitely support that. Can you, everybody? Absolutely. We have the chairman, Kareem McBean, and past president, Cheryl Smith, with us in the sanctuary. So please, a special welcome just for them. All right, amazing. Now, moving right along, we are still we still have our discipleship pathway classes available for you. You can go to the website and check out the classes that are available. We've got New Beginnings, Foundations 1 and 2, and Discipling Your World. So please go ahead and check that out and sign up for your class. Now, anybody in here, you hear me talk about Bible studies all the time, but I want to know, is there anyone in here who has ever done a Go For God Bible study? Let me hear it. Yes. They are just that amazing. And we've got men and women Bible studies starting to Tomorrow. So if you've not signed up yet, you can still do so. It's not too late. Just go to goforgod.org and the information is right there for you. Also, if you are signed up, anybody in here signed up? Let me hear you. If you signed up. All right. So you can invite someone. Tell them to do the study with you. How amazing is that? This is a great opportunity to stay connected in community and close to the word of God. So please reach out to someone and invite them to do Bible study with you. Coming up in November, because how many, I don't know, say October done. October done, yes. So coming up in November, we will be focusing on prayer and fasting. We'll dedicate an entire week to fasting and praying. We're also going to be doing a corporate power connection. So stay tuned for more details. How many of you have ever done a power connection? Yeah, yes, absolutely amazing. So you've got to join us and stay tuned. And you know where all the information always is, goforgod.org. Today is the final day of Pastor's Appreciation Day. <laughs> Pastor's Appreciation Month. But Oktoberfest, yes. But it is also the final day of Pastor's Appreciation Month. And today, immediately after service, we will be appreciating our pastors with a short little ceremony. we got a couple things that we'd like to express to them. So we're going to be doing that right at the end of service. So stay with us. Don't go anywhere and help us appreciate them. Now, there's still time to bless them. So I know I tell you, just give your best gift. You can do that right now. You can go to goforgod.org. The Go Give information is there. Or you can send us an email at g4gpastors at gmail.com. And we'll let you know how you can give to your pastors to show your appreciation. Oktoberfest. Oktoberfest. Somebody say Oktoberfest. Somebody say we're not done yet. We're not done. We just are come, right? So today we are putting into action all of what we've been learning this month because we've been learning every single week. 
We've been learning something else. So today, it all comes together in all Worship Sunday. Today, we need to prepare our hearts and our minds and our living rooms if you're at home because in as I said, it's set in here. Everybody have space? We can't spread out our worship? Yes, absolutely. And get ready to worship. I hope you're ready. Now, just in case you didn't know what today is, I know we said Pastor's Appreciation Month. I know we said Oktoberfest. But today is the best Sunday ever. So I hope you're ready for it. We're going to lead. We're going to be led today by our friends John Mark Wigan, Don Martin, and Latoya HD. So help me welcome them right now as they take us into the presence of God. Let's welcome Go Worship! Go for God. How are you doing? Go for God. How are you doing? Stand to your feet at this moment. It's about time. It's my first time with all worship with you guys. And I'm absolutely excited. I hope you are. Oh, you've been good. You've been too good. Yes, you've been good, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, I can't stop. 
Let's rejoice in our King. Let's say rejoice. Come on. Rejoice. Hallelujah. Let's give Him all the glory. Let's take it out. Come on. Say. Rejoice. to be praised and we're just going to continue to worship him <laughs> run the track run it. the song says worthy is the lamb hey. Hey. thank you for the cross Lord thank you for the pride Amazing grace 
cross, God. Thank you for the price that you paid. If it was me alone on this earth, you still would send your son to die for my sin. And God, this morning, I'm grateful. I don't know about anybody else here, but I know that I'm grateful. Do we have any grateful people in the house this morning? somebody, I don't know if it's here or online, you question God's love for you. And you go through day by day. And you carry out your regular routine activities. But deep down you wonder if God really loves you. to assure, reassure somebody this morning that the Lord loves you with an everlasting love. That love that covers a multitude of sin. Have you ever seen a multitude? I've been to some shows where as far as your eyes can see is people. And you can't see no grass, you can't see no ground. All you see is people. Imagine your sin and you think that it's so big and it's so bad that it, you, you know, all hell is breaking loose and life is done and life is over. But God's love covers it all. song that says oh how he loves you and me oh how he loves you and me he gave his life Could he give? Oh, how come on, sing. Yes, he loves you. Oh, how he loves me. Oh, how he loves you. every other 
a word. We silence every other thought. We come against every doubt, every fear, every guilt, every condemnation. There is now, therefore, no condemnation. And I was sore with you. Yeah, because you're light now. <laughs> you're light now. You don't have the dead weight anymore. We break that off in the name of Jesus Christ. And I will soar in you, Jesus. Because your spirit leads me on. By the power of your love. Give God praise. Glory to God. Come on, Hallelujah. just lift your hands with me this morning. Hallelujah. Let's just give Jesus some praise in the house. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. We're going to go in his strength this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you for that ministry, Auntie Latoya. We're going to go in his love and we're going to go in his strength. Praise the name of Jesus. My maker, you knit me in my mother's womb. You are my helper. When I call, I know you won't chase me away. You are my keeper. Through it all, I know that I will prevail. So my protection is guaranteed You are everything we need Everything we need You alone will do So we will go in your strength yeah. In your strength we will go We will flourish until the moon
the moon, the moon is no more, no more. We will flow in your strength, in your strength we will go. We will flourish until the moon, the moon is no more. can testify of God being a consistent provider. Now is an opportunity to give him glory. Hallelujah. Give him honor. Lift up his name. Worship him. He has been such a consistent God Hallelujah. and you can depend on him. You can absolutely depend on him. We give you thanks this morning God for you have kept us all this time. We appreciate the opportunity to give you worship. I'll never be more loved than I am right now. Wasn't holding you up, so there's nothing I can do to let you down. It doesn't take a trophy to make you proud. Oh, I'll never be more loved than I am right now. Going through the storm. But I won't go down I hear your voice Calling in the middle of the wind To call me out You would cross the notion So I wouldn't drown You've never been close to anyone right now Come on, shout somebody, say Chira, you are enough
solid rock I stand. All of the ground is sinking sand. All of the ground is sinking sand. Oh, yes. We can depend on you. On Christ, the solid rock I stand. All of the ground, all the ground is sinking sand. Oh, want Christ the solid rock I stand. All of the ground is sinking sand. Child, lift up your voice and let him know. Child, say, Child, you are enough. I will be satisfied. With when you move everything else out of the way, God. Jaira, Jaira, you are enough. You are enough. Jehovah Jaira, my provider. Jehovah Rapha, my healer. He's always there. Jehovah Shama. Hallelujah. I will look to the hands from whence comes my help. My help comes from the Lord who made the heaven and the earth. Hallelujah. I thank you, oh God. There's such an awesome presence in this place. Let's just continue to worship him. Hallelujah. God, I look to you. I won't be overwhelmed. Give me vision to see things like you do. God, I look to you. You're where my help comes from. Give me wisdom. You know just what to do. Oh, oh, oh. Lord, we glorify your holy name. Yeah.
your name at all times. Your praise shall continually be in my mouth. Hallelujah. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge. He is my fortress. He is my hiding place. He is my very present help in the time of trouble. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, lift up your voice. Because we're going to practice what we've been learning all month. We're going to open our mouths and we're going to praise God. We're going to exalt his name. All worship Sunday is not just about coming and singing a, book, a couple of songs. It's about an encounter with God. And if you come here today and you leave the same way, then we would have wasted our time. Ah, oh, God Almighty. The presence of the Lord is so rich and, and, and tangible in this place. It, it, you, you, there is no way that you can come into a, an atmosphere like this. There is no way that you can come into an atmosphere like this and remain the same. Lift your hands above your head. Open your mouth and exalt the name of Jesus. Our oh God, we honor you. We magnify you. Oh, Jesus, you are worthy. You are Alpha and you are Omega. You are the beginning and you are the end. There is none beside you. There is none above you. There is none that can compare. There is no God like my God. You are the God of Abraham. You are the God of Isaac. The God of Jacob. You are Jehovah Jireh. You are Jehovah Sikhanu, my righteousness. You are my healer. You are my provider. You are my sustainer. Come on, people of God. Come on, let's worship him. Habits, the praises of his people. Uh, uh. It's in an atmosphere like this that chains are broken. It's in an atmosphere like this that healing takes place. And while you're here worshiping, while you're here praising, God is fixing things. I don't know. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know if I have no, 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 no company in here today. Me. It's not about being ritualistic. It's not about going through the motions. The days for going through motions done long time. Now is the time when we have to get radical for God. Now is the time when... Now is the time when you can't play, play with devil. You can't play with... The enemy has tried left, right and center. He has tried every single angle to get you down, to get you depressed, to make you feel like you want to just throw in the towel. The devil is a liar. You shall be free. You shall be healed. You must be delivered. Your child must be delivered. Your cousin must be delivered. In the name of Jesus.
problems too but I serve a God who is bigger than every problem that I may face every every obstacle that I may think is insurmountable my God surpasses that so I'm gonna give him all my worship I'm gonna give him everything that is within me we sang it earlier bless the Lord Oh my soul and all that is within me. Rain, Jesus, rain. Rain, Jesus, rain. situation rain Jesus rain over every sickness Jesus rain Jesus rain to look at me, close your eyes, and focus oh, on the audience of one, the reason you came here today, the reason you logged on today, was to worship, you are forget about the problems, forget about the pain, let's just give God what's due to him, so you are up.
You're in transition. There is a new level for you to go. As a result of that, it's going to get hard. It's 
going to get there. But it is necessary for the oil to flow. Don't be surprised when certain people leave your life. Don't be surprised at certain closed doors. It is the work of the Lord. And even now, Father God, we thank you for John. And you have called him to this congregation for such a time as this. Father, we pray even now for a double portion of your anointing. We pray, Holy Spirit of God, that you will empower him in ways that he never thought was possible. We pray, God Almighty, that you will speak to him in a new and fresh way. We pray, God, that you will give him songs in the wee hours of the morning. You will wake him up to spend time in your presence. And his sound will be different. Your worship will be different. But you have the support of your church. And they will be praying for you. It's time to step in. There's no more questioning. It's time to step in. The Lord is with you. with you in the, ve the, the different parts of your life he is with you and once you give what is due to him he will show himself mighty and strong in every area of your life hallelujah Let's do one more song. Somebody that can sing better than me, come sing one more song. I need a, let's stay in the, in, in the spirit here. I need a song that will have you jump. Because God says this morning that the, as high as you jump is as high as he will take you. So... If you can find a song today, right now, in this very prophetic moment that will have you jumping, some of us are going to jump too. But God is saying, as high as you want to jump, is as high as He will take you. So let's jump. If you don't come, we won't move. We're desperate, Lord, for a touch from you. If you don't come, we won't move we're desperate lord for a touch from you if you don't come we won't move we're desperate lord for a touch from you if you don't come we won't move we're desperate lord for a hey somebody get ready somebody get
somebody's head. Lord, we're glad you came. We're desperate. If you don't go, hey, I want them to hear how many people are in the building.
And your glory, God, is what our hearts long for. To be overwhelmed by your presence, Lord, Holy Spirit, you're already here. Oh, you flood this place, you fill the atmosphere. And your glory, God, is what our hearts long for. To be overcome by your presence, Lord. Oh, oh, oh by your presence, Lord. Yes, your presence, Lord. pray that we don't lose it in the week. Your presence, Lord. Your presence, Lord. Yes, God, your presence, Lord. We want it. Your presence. We become more aware of your presence. Now we can't deny it. Oh, now we can't deny it. I can't move the same way. I can't talk the same way. Oh, no, no. I can't go the same places, no. Because of your presence, Lord. Yeah, your presence, Lord. Your presence, Lord. Commune with your God. Speak to him now. I wish we take a moment and listen to what he has to say. Oh, we've been singing to him all day. Just listen. Hear what God has to say. Father, speak to your people. They anxiously await the word. You said it. Anything you say is yeah and amen. amen. Lord, everything you say is yeah and amen. If you said I'd be successful, it's yay and amen. God, if you said I'd overcome, oh, yeah, help me, it's yay and amen. If you said it, Doubts in his word, it's infallible. Oh, it's yea and amen. Don't doubt him, no. Don't doubt him, no. It's yea and amen. 
Somebody say it's yea and amen. Sing it's yea and amen. Come on, pull God's promise pull off the shelf and say it's yea and amen. How many of you have a prophetic word this morning? Let's declare it's yea and amen. Who in here have a promise? Wave at me and say yea and amen. It don't look like you really believe the promise. Sing, it's yea and amen. If God said it, it will come true. It's yea and amen. What has God promised you? It's yea and amen. I believe you, Lord. It's yea. Some of us have been waiting a very long time, God. We declare. It's yea and amen. This morning, we cry out for our promise. We declare that every word that the Lord has spoken over our life is yea and it is amen. Father God, we come into agreement with who you are. We come into agreement with what you have said and spoken over our life. Lord God, we accept who you say we are. This morning... We accept every promise that you've ever spoken over our life, every prophetic word. Many of us this morning are believing for children. Some of us actually want more children. Uh, there, there are many in here this morning that are believing for a spouse. Not, 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 a, not, not a new one like you want to get rid of the old one, but some of you are single and believing for... A new spouse, somebody say, it's yay and yay, man. Who's in here believing God for that promotion? You know that God wants to promote you because you are the one that needs to be in that position of power. It's yay and amen. Father God, we thank you for your presence. We thank you for your word. Lord God, we thank you that we can come together and worship you, give you all the glory, and give you all the praise. We thank you for this time in your presence this morning. In Jesus' name, amen. If you've been blessed, put your hands together. Those of you that are watching online, just type and say, yeah. Then. It's yeah, amen. Yeah. We glorify you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Well, listen, just, just stay with me one second because uh, we have a few more things to do today. Uh, and it, it has come to my attention, and you can keep playing just like that, um, Pastor Kevin. Come on, somebody say, hey, somebody say, Pastor Kevin. How oh, that sound? It don't sound too bad. Come on, man. Say it's yea and amen. Pastor Kevin. Yeah. Kevin, say yea and amen. Pastor Kevin. Okay, listen. It has come to my attention that some of you are choosing to be your own source. Just say after me, please. Say, I am my own source. No, 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 no. Say it. Say, I am my source. All right, now say, say this. And, and tell me if this feels any different. Say, God is my source. Say, God is my provider. See, some trust in chariots, some in horses. Some trust in their bank account. Some trust in their, ability, their own ability to earn. There are some people, some persons still in our church family that are choosing to be their own source. In other words, they go out and they work so that they can get. <laughs> and they get what they can work for. But God has a system that says, if you would tithe and if you would give to me, 
then I will become your source. How many of you really want God to become your source? Uh, I'm just saying, I, I know you didn't want to, to... The way that you can say loudly that God is your source is to be faithful in your tithes and your offerings. It is your tithes that says, God is my source. Uh, but, but every moment that you withhold it, every penny, every dollar that you withhold, you are saying to God, I am my source. Uh, you, you have a choice to make. It's either God is going to be your source and you're looking to your own strength. Or you're looking to God's strength to take you out. Some of you have been in a cycle of, I am my source, I am my source, I am my source, I am my source, I am my source. And God is saying, if you want to break that cycle today, tithe and give what he's asked you to give. It is tithing that breaks that cycle. It's tithing that puts God in his rightful place as your source. God don't play any other game, right? Uh, what he does is he says, just give me 10, a 10th, and I'll bless the 90. In Jesus' name. This is it's the end of the month. This is the time to give. Some of you have decided to give uh, this morning. Many of you watching online. Most, most persons are giving online because you're, you're cutting edge. You're up to date and them things. So let us just jump into this song. We're just going to sing it one time because the people them love to sing the song. But, 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 but you're going reggae version. You just you have to tell me first. You know, last, week, last week you reggae it for me. All right, let, we can do the reggae. Let's try the reggae. Hey. Hey. I'm a go give up. So I'm a go get up. All, all of God's favor is running over. Say I'm a go give up. So I'm going to so get I'm a go -getter. Running over, press down, press down, shake it together. All of God's faith is running over, press down, shake it together. All of God's faith, it's running over. Let's say joy, joy, running. Freedom this morning, freedom. freedom. It's running over. It's running over. Favor. Favor. One more time, say I want joy. Joy. Oh, it's running over. Peace. It's running over. Freedom. It's running. It's running over. I'm a go giver, hey. So I'm a go getter. All of God's pain is running on. I'm a go, I'm a go giver. So I'm a go getter. All of God's pain is running on. Pull up, pull up, hey. Father God, we thank you that you've been so faithful to us. You've been faithful. You've been a protector. You've been a provider. You've given us provision. You've given us all that we need in life. And we thank you that we've made it to this point. Lord God, we choose in this moment to be faithful to you. As a matter of fact, Lord God, today we choose you as our source. We say we will no longer be our own source. We're not strong enough. We're not bad enough. We're not good enough. Father God, you are the omnipotent one, the omniscient one, the all-powerful, the all-sufficient one. And we bow before you as our source this morning, even as we choose to give to you. Father God, I pray over every seed sown and every sower. I pray over every gift given and every giver this morning. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. I'm a go-giver. 
So I'm a go get em. All of God's favor running. Say, I'm a go give em. So I'm a go get em. All of God's favor running over. All right. Uh, 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 uh. What's next now? Uh, 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 uh. Who coming up now? again go for God family good morning, good, morning. good morning everybody know this guy what's up good morning elder David hey, how, are you doing, Barbie? how are you I'm good I'm good blessed well you look good the glory of God looks good on you yes, sir yes thank you thank you yes thank you. hallelujah Mark Anthony, hallelujah. Huh? Mark, Anthony? Yes, yes. Mark Anthony the glory of God Mark Anthony Give hallelujah applause, Mark. Yeah, you. praise the Lord praise the Lord well thank you very much everyone for joining us and staying with us the family that love appreciates and honors the faithful shepherds that God has blessed us with. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So to our amazing senior pastor, and we're going to call them on stage right now because we know it's Pastors Appreciation Month, right? So we're going to just go ahead and call our pastors on stage right now. So to our amazing senior pastor, Pastor Christopher Morgan, can you join us on stage, please, PC? Let's go, let's go. You're going to see them all here. You ready for them? Are you ready for them? Come on, you don't sound like you're ready. Give me something, make them sound like them ready over here. Drum on, drum on. Give me something, make them sound. No, I'm gonna just want you. Now I need my first lady, Pastor Marsha Morgan. Come on, bring Woo. her up, bring her up. Let's go, let's go. And next is the head cook and maca washer herself, Pastor Charlene Reed. Bring her up, bring her up. Let's go. Last but definitely not least, the Never fun, least. crazy, you know her, she, 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 listen, she teaches your children every week, she leads them in praise and worship and she gives them everything that they need to get through this life, nobody else but that fun, crazy Pastor Tamika Wright, big them up, big them up, big here up, they are, up, that's them. Okay, and of course, Pastor Joe is not here, oh. but Pastor Joe. Can I bring him up? Yeah, forget Well, we can't big him up. We can't big him up. Can we big up Pastor Joe? Pastor Joe? Huh? Oh, Pastor Joe is watching. So, yeah, big him up. Big him up. Give him a big up. Yes, Woo. Pastor Joe. Woo! Okay, okay, okay. All right, so just so you guys know, none of our pastors were involved in the planning Pastor's appreciation. None of them. None of them. None. Of course, you know they try. They did. Especially. They really tried. Who, who, you think, who you think tried? I think PC tried yeah. the hardest. Yeah. PC tried yeah, the hardest. Because yeah, right, right, right. if you know, you know that PC is not the easiest person to surprise. So I think he tried the hardest, but he used the rest of them. Right. You think he used but, them? Um, no, I don't think he got through. But uh, what I'll tell you guys <laughs> that we had a committee um, that led the organization of all these events. Uh, this year, we wanted to make sure that they were treated to a surprise celebration, coordinated by us, of course, the members, a bountiful blessing for them who go above and beyond to meet our needs, serving us, building us up, and going before God for us day in and day out, even at a cost to themselves and their families. Yes, it is their calling, one which they do selflessly. So we want to honor their yes to God with our best. As we bring Pastor's Appreciation Month to a close, I want to thank all our family members who have contributed to the, the effort. Yes, clap, clap yourselves. Clap right, yourselves. Right, so clap Give yourselves, yourselves a clap. For all clap. those who gave towards our pastors. Um, for those who have not done so as yet, you still have an opportunity. 
Oh, right. Where can, can they where give? can they go? We can still give? Sure, no. Of course. Oh wow. Oh, they can go to mm. goforgod.org and just go to go give, or you can send us an email at g4gpastors at gmail.com and we'll give you all the information there. Um so wow, well, we can still give. All right, I'm going to yeah. give. I'm going to give some more. Give little more. All right. Are we at our target? We are actually um we we I, I believe we almost met We're our almost target. Almost there. We're almost okay, at our so target. Okay, so guys, please contribute. Just go online and let's get so that going. Mokos, so give a I want to more. also bring on stage Elder Virtue and Elder Mikey. Please join us on stage. Now, we asked persons for adjectives um, to describe our pastors. And we actually have that. Are we ready with that? So we, we sent out an email to the members and we asked you guys to Give us a couple adjectives to describe them, right? So here's what you actually sent in to us, right? Here are some of them that you gave us, which are common thoughts that most of you shared. Go ahead, can we? Well, church, I want, us, want you all to just join as we pray for our leaders, our pastors. It's not, it's not easy to serve in the way that they do, and they do it effortlessly because they are called for such a time as this. And so please join me as we pray over our pastors. Father, we bless you, almighty God. We thank you, Lord, for where we are in our journey, in our life. Father, we thank you, Lord, for Go For God Family Church. We thank you, Lord that you would have appointed these leaders or pastors for such a time as this, Lord. Father, you know their journey that they're coming from, but ultimately, Lord, you know what you're calling to. 
And so, Father, we just want to just pray over each and every one of them, Lord. We ask, Lord, that you will continue to pour out your best in them, Lord. Continue to stretch them and continue to use them, Lord. Father, they are hearts of servants, Lord. And they are, they are, they are, they are pulling all from you, Lord. Each and every day that we see them in and through our ministries, we see a glimpse of you. We thank you, Lord, for shining through them. We thank you, Lord, that they're... We thank you, Lord, that the gift that they are to us continues to challenge us and continues to lead us into a place of relationship with you, Lord. Father, we thank you, Lord, for Pastor Tam. We thank you, Lord, for the crazy, spontaneous, um, amazing ministry that she continues to pour out each and every day. And Father, we just ask, Lord, that you'll pour into her even more. In the moments of doubt and, and, and frustration, Lord, we pray that she looks to you as her ultimate source. For all things, Lord. We pray over Pastor Charlene. Almighty God, we thank you so much, Lord, that she continues to just be used by you. She continues to be at a place of saying, here am I, use me. Father, we've seen her journey. We've seen all that she has sacrificed and given up. And Lord, somebody would say it's for her, but Lord, she has done it for you. And so, Father, we pray now, Lord, that you'll give back to her all that even she can't even fathom or even understand and that her ministry will grow in such a way that thousands and thousands of people will come to know you because of just how she serves you and we thank you lord for her ministry and may it continue to grow we speak expansion we speak growth we continue to speak expansion and growth over you pastor charlene and be not daunted by the work that is before you because god is able Father God, we thank you, Lord, for Pastor Marshall. We thank you, Lord, that the role she plays is a role that many might not understand. But before she's even lady, she, is, she has given up so much to allow for us to have Pastor Chris. But Father, sometimes we take that for granted. And this morning, we acknowledge you, Pastor Marshall, for the woman of God that you are, for the lady and the leader that you are, don't say much, but you do so much just by being the woman that God has called you to be. So, Father God, we just pray over Pastor Marshall. We pray that she continues to draw from the unlimited source, which is you. We pray that you help her to be the best mother, the best wife. Continue to be the greatest leader, lady shepherd of this house. And may she do that effortlessly because you are her guide and you are her source. Father, we thank you so much, Lord, that she continues to avail herself to be used by you in increasing measures each and every day. We've seen her growth. We've seen her step into leadership in a way that this church has moved to levels that we didn't even understand. But, Lord, we know the seasons that you have released her. And, Father, we look forward to even more and greater things. Father God, we thank you, Lord, for the man of God, Pastor Christopher Morgan. Father, we thank you, Lord, that this mantle that he has is one that is not understood, and he might be very misunderstood in many situations. But we wholeheartedly stand in agreement, stand in full support of what God has called him to do. He has left the world because he's seen a vision that surpasses any human understanding. And Father, as we walk hand and heart together, we stand with this man of God, and we just want to bless him this morning. We bless him with all God's blessings. We thank you, Lord, that there is nothing missing and nothing lacking in his life. We thank you, Lord, that the things that were spoken about what we, the members, see in him, Lord, will grow in immense ways, Lord, beyond even what he can think. The ability to teach and to break on the word of God in the way he does is for this season and this nation and the world at this time. And we pray, Lord, that the doors and the opportunities and the boundaries and the borders that will be open for him, that he will step into boldness and confidence, not because of what he wants, but because it is what you have called him for at such a time as this. Father, we just pray that you'll cover him from the crown of his head to the sole of his feet, that he is not just a husband and a father to many, but he will continue to shepherd this flock in a way that shows your love for each and every individual. We thank you, Lord, for your grace. We thank you, Lord, for your mercy that has been extended. And we thought, thank you, Lord, for, his, for your encounters with him. 
We are here every single week because he encounters you weekly. And through that encounter, Lord, the word of God has been brought to us in ways that our own lives have been trans transformed. So, Father, we cover him now. We bless him, Almighty God, in all that he continues to do. And, Father, we just want to ask, Lord, that each and every one of our pastors continues to take the word, continue to mull over and reflect on the word, and allow the word to become the living word, and that we will see you, Jesus, in and through them, in, the, in and throughout this ministry. We bless them, and we give you thanks in Jesus' name. Father, as we pray over them, and although Pastor Joe is not with us, by extension, Lord, we are today, we have matured today in a huge part because of the leadership and the ministry of Pastor Joe. And so we acknowledge him, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that we played a part and we continue to play a part in his growth and for you using him in a mighty way. And Father, we just cover him and bless him and his family as they continue to go for God each and every day. The passion and your presence go with them. And we bless them in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Yes, amen, amen, amen. Now, we, um, we, we have some gifts for them, everybody. Who likes gifts? You like gifts? Yeah? Christmas well, come early. Christmas come early for them. I kind of like it. I'm going to look to see if there's anything that, you know, the pastors can bless me with. You know, I like gifts too. PC, you want to give me yours? You can't just say no. Yes, no. Yeah? What? PC, I give me a gift then. My pastor. Okay, so we got gifts from a number of different places, and we couldn't do this by ourselves, even though there was a committee. The committee could not do it on its own. So we reached out to a number of our members um, and they were more than happy to come on board and assist us with giving to each and every one of you. Uh, before we bring on the first gifts, I'm going to just take a moment to thank, there are two people in particular that we really, really leaned on pretty heavily um, during this, this time to help us pull everything together. So you saw the videos every week, you saw the posts on social media and everything, and we could not have done that without the help of Ashley Reed. Thank you, Ashley. Absolutely. And though they are no longer here in Jamaica with us, the Grays actually helped us. So Mark Gray, Thank yes, you, Mark. big Thank him up. Gray. Thank you very much to both of them. So big them up, big them up. So the first gift, Honey Bun gave you guys some gifts. Yes. So each owner gets a nice little, yay, Honey Bun, yay, Honey Bun. Put yep. your hands together for Renee, everybody. Yes, Renee. for Renee, one of our committee members, and a big arrow, big arrow. Yes, 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 big arrow. Yes, praise the Lord. Okay, and then uh, hiding over in the corner there is Mrs. Aisha Panton. I just have to say that, you know, she don't want me to, so that's why I said it, right? <laughs> so the next thing was MDS, Medical Disposables and Supplies, came out, and they wanted to gift the ladies. Woo! So Big each of you. Big up Kurt. Huh? Big up Kurt Booth. Yeah, Kurt Booth. So thank you very much, Kurt Booth. Thank you. Big them up. Yes. And by the way, you see all these. Let me turn them around. Turn that. Yes, Charlene. Stop. Look funny. Turn it around. Right. So all of these things are things that they distribute that you can get to. So if you want to smell like them, feel like them, and look like them. Look out I'm for those sure products. P I'm sure PC is going to be utilizing. Yeah, I'm sure uh, PC uh, is going to. Yeah, PC will. Yeah. So, you know, because there's like. There's body wash, lotion, rubbing alcohol, yes, oh, all one nice bathing sponge, yes, yeah, all okay. kind of things in there. Marsha, wow, something in here named Naked. Oh, wow. <laughs> it says Naked Care. They each got one, so hey, I'm just saying. Now, next, a couple other companies wanted to join on board. Um, the first one, Renee, would you like to come? PC. We did really, 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 really. Cause you know, I know you thought the ladies got baskets. You didn't get anything, right? So Adam and Eve said, PC is on TV every week. Full right? spa treatment. Yeah. So PC, I wanted to know, and I want everybody to see this, you know. They didn't just give you one gift certificate, right? This is one, right? They didn't just, them say, we're not just going to give him, we're not two. just going to give him two, right? Adam and Eve said, we're giving him three gift certificates. Three. All right. Thank you very, very much. Uh, so Adam he, he was spending the day at the spa. Yes, so I PC. I guess he had to work at all with Charlene, eh? Right. PC, just let me know when you make the appointment. It's three. And I don't want you to have to choose between them. 
Because I don't want any, you know, any dissension or animosity. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm saying you. call me. <laughs> right. We had this discussion before, PC. So here you go, Adam and Eve. Thank you. Now, this one right here, there's actually two gift certificates in here, PC, because we know you love your belly. Yeah. We know you love eats, right? Everybody know that about PC? Him love eats. Yes. So, Opa. Everybody big up Opa. Actually gave up, PC. Opa. A gift certificate for a dinner. Dinner is dinner for two or dinner for one? I, I don't think it's dinner for one. It's, it's for two, two people, yeah, so Marsha, right. you can't go with him. Yeah. I don't want to go to dinner with PC yeah, at, at all. So, yes. And also, PC, we know you love your belly, but guess what else we noticed that you love? Your shoes. Who said that? Who said that? God is speaking in the house tonight. Elite Shoe Care said... PC, you love your shoes. So they gave you a gift certificate so you can treat your shoes and them can nice and shiny. Right? Yes? Right. So Thank you guys. That's so are we done? Are, are we done? That's um, it. That's it? Rent, uh, I think I think we're done. Oh, we're not done. We're not done. Okay. Okay. So there's actually something else. Oh wow, come with this, Renee. These look really, really nice. You know, this one Anybody can done. tell who yes, please. decorated these bags? Come. These. Can, whose bag is this? This is Pastor Tamika? Okay, so this is, hold on. This one is Pastor Tamika's bag, right? Bring out one more bag, right? So, hold on. No, I'm not dropping it. I just want you guys to, anybody can kind of guess who helped us decorate, who helped us put these packages together? Somebody said Puss Back Foot. The one. The one the, and only. The only. The only. Puss Back, back Foot. foot. On a big arrow. That's, That's right. That's not normal. It, that PC say it have grass in it. It's not grass, PC. It's foliage. Here you go, Pastor Tamika. Now, as you guys get these bags, we're going to ask you to, op to take out what is inside of the bag. So I we out sent out an door. email, out, right? And there. there was also a questionnaire that we also sent out. And we asked you guys to answer a few questions and to give us um, some comments about how you feel about them and what you think. And as a result of that, PC, right, I'm waiting. Okay, so Pastor Tams has hers out. As a result of that, we were able, yes, who, who knows who's going to cry right now? <laughs> Uno Uagabal. Uno Uagabal, yes. Yeah, and Charlene, Marsha Gabal. I don't know about Charlene, but Marsha Gabal. She's going to cry. She might not cry right now on, on stage, but she's going to cry. Open them. Up, up, because guys. open them. We'd like you to open them. Take a quick look. Open them. Yes, please open it, PC. The inside is better than the outside. Yes, open it. There you go. So what you will find in these books, and each committee member was assigned to put a book together for each of you because it's just so much. So what you will find inside these books are messages along with photos and messages from the members of your flock. And this was just um, our way of coming together and letting each and every one of you know how special you are to us, not just saying it, but giving you something that you can keep. Yes, they're speechless, guys. They're speechless. They are speechless. And each book also has a tribute to each pastor. So the center of each book has a tribute that was written, especially with each of you in mind, as well as a prayer. Yes. So we'd like to thank the prayer team. So you'll have these yes. books thank forever. Thank the prayer team. Yeah. Yeah. Thank the prayer team for coming, coming together. And again, we'd like to thank each and every one of you yeah. who did submit your answers. We know some of you weren't able to or didn't get a chance to, but we'd like to say thank you. Um, we did try to include everyone that participated. Matello, no, yeah. We're just waiting for that one, Yes, right? on a big up pasta, Marsha. I knew. And look, their sister, Charlene Apolto. Oh. PC, <laughs> PC is crying. It's okay, PC. Real men do cry. PC, that's not where your mask is, PC. That is. <laughs> Yeah, so, um, so yeah, thank you guys very, very much. Uh, we love, honor, and appreciate each and every one of you. It was a pleasure and an honor to be able to put this together for you guys and to bring it together um, all at one time. So thank you very, very much. Uh, 
on, yes, on the clap them, bring them up, bring them up. Come on, and clap yourselves, clap yourselves, clap yourselves, clap yourselves. Yes, yes, yes. So, El Elder Davis, is there anything else we want to tell them? Yes, yeah, so I just want us to um, let everyone know who has given um, to our pastors for their appreciation that the financial contributions will be shared amongst all our pastors, including Pastor Joe, who's, of course, in Atlanta. Oh, Pastor Joe still gets something? Of course. Oh, wow, nice, yes, he, nice, he, he, wonderful. We have to, we have to. So we remind um, all late responders that the window is still open. If you have not given as yet and you'd like to, feel free to log on to our goforgod.org and you can also give towards the cause. Yeah, because we'd like to make that target and we're just under the target. So don't believe that you can't help us do that. Just go ahead and give your best gift. And you can also share, um, and first of all, I want to thank, of course, the committee members again, um, Aisha Panton, Renee Whitehorn, Woo! Catherine Goodhall, Woo! Andrea McGibbon, Woo! Barbie, and myself. Did you say Catherine? Did you say uh, Catherine Goodall? Yes, I you did. You said Catherine? Oh, I didn't hear. I like big up my the, catty. I was the thorn among the roses. You were the thorn? Yes, I he was. I was just listening. Really did it all the work. Yeah, you I were the just only male. Listen. You had to deal with all the women. Oh, my Lord. Oh, wow. You know, <laughs> I don't know. Elder, Elder yeah. Davis, I was just about to ask you how, what was the experience like for I you. Know, but what do you mean, oh, my Lord? I know, a prayer went in before meetings, you know, but I mean, when you have women of God like this You mean we prayed when we talented, opened the meetings? Went, who are very strong, charismatic, who know themselves so well, and of course they love their pastors, you have to just be there to support them. Well, well we thank you for your support, sir. We thank you very much. And a big up Elder Davis, big him up. All right. So thank you guys very, very much. Also, before we, we end, you can leave comments by watching this, the uh, videos that are on our social media pages. Please watch them again, leave your comments, They'll be there forever for them to see. Yeah, and forever. I think Elder Virtue would like to say something before we. Um, church, as we know that we've said that we're a family. And so sometimes we think, you know, why all of this? When you do have greatness amongst you, whether that's your family members, whether it is your relatives, you have to stop to appreciate them. And all that you see that we are doing here. We can't do enough for them, but the stop that we, the pause that we pause right now to acknowledge them is, is such that we want to, it to be contagious. It's something that we want to do is to celebrate. We are a church that celebrates amen. things like this, and it's not just an appreciation. We want to celebrate them all the time. Amen, amen. So if you see us doing this, we're doing it because it's who we are, and we honor them because of just the sacrifices that they make and the call that they're answering to. So I just want to just say that we are doing this because we want to bless them and appreciate them and we encourage you to do the same. Not just for them, but for people around you. Let's be in our posture of celebration. Amen? Amen. And since we don't have Elders Appreciation Month, but we do have Pastors Appreciation Month, I want to encourage both of you to just step right into your calling, right? And so we can add you to this line of pastors, right? Everybody? Everybody? Come on now. Who says our elders should be pastors too? Come on, should they? Yes, can we have we have three women and one man, right? Then we have three elders. So them not can step up. Them supposed to step up to clear the way for somebody else to be an elder, right? Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So looking forward to that. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Speaking in my prophetic voice. Yes, yes, yes. Over to you, PC. Over to you, PC. Please. <laughs> Put your hands together for Barbie. One more time for the pastors of Go For God Family Church. Thanks to everybody who gave. Really, we, we, we really do appreciate. We love you. We love serving you. We love ministering to you, praying for you. And all of what we do, uh, we do unto the Lord. And we do so that you can grow so that you can find his presence, so that you can find your purpose in your life, and uh, so that we can take over Jamaica for God who's ready to take over. Uh, we really do thank you. Um, you know, I, I prophesy at least four new pastors up here with us next year. Many of you 
that are a part of us are on your way to ordination. You've gotten the prophetic words. So let's do this. And, uh, you know, we are going to have many lay pastors here at Go For God Family Church and other full-time pastors. Please remember your pastors in your giving every month. Okay, when you don't give, uh, it, it, uh, it shows, it underappreciates those who are full-time working for this ministry every month. I'm going to be honest on what I'm saying. You understand what I'm saying? So why why I say that right now, Pastor Chris? I, I'd like you to remember in this moment of appreciation, every month that you give, you're giving to the uh, priests and those that serve in the church full time. All right? So thank you so much for your giving. Let's just leave these things up and you come and get them after. After I go through them. And um, I'll distribute them after. I see something named Naked Care. I said, what are you doing? All right. It looks like a soap. Uh, thank you so much. <laughs> well, Pastor Charlene, what do I, what's now? Benediction? No prayer room today? Okay. Well, who's glad to be in church this morning? Worship was amazing. Don Martin. Don Martin was here with us for worship. V. Latoya HD. Every time she come here, she bring the presents with her. I'm just like, presents? Oh, how many of you realize she doesn't come here to perform? And um, that's why we, we, we value you both as being a part of us, you know? Uh, because, you know, we don't perform up here. We, we, we really want to get into the presence. Put your hands together for John Mark. Uh, who, who jumped, he jumped high, but uh, how many of you know him can jump higher than that? I, I almost go, go, go and just lift, fling him up. And, and, and I'm not playing either. We need you to jump higher. I mean, it's the higher you jump. It's, it's a word from the Lord, the higher you jump. Make me get a word like that here. That guy. You can't even see me. I can't. All right. But uh, what goes up? All right. Uh, well, let me pray a prayer of blessing over you. Next week, I have a, a particularly powerful word for you. Pastor Chris is preaching next week after some wonderful weeks of great ministry. Latoya is here. And the others that came through and blessed us, many have been affected by our Oktoberfest time of worship. Uh, amen. But, and the thing is, you can go back today and watch all of them again and worship again and get the word again. But next week, Sunday, I will be preaching and I hope that you check it out. It's going to be great. Church, may the Lord bless you and keep you. I pray that he would make his face shine upon you. I pray that you'd lift up the light of his countenance over your life and fill you with his love and his joy and his peace. Lord God, I pray that every day, every moment that they go for God, that they would find themselves wrapped up in your presence, in your passion, fulfilling your purpose. Oh God, I pray that each and every one of them would be blessed so that they can be a blessing. Father God, I pray that your kingdom will come, that your will will be done, that your leadership, that your rulership would flow through them into their world. We declare that we are leaders, we are the answer, and we are dangerous. In Jesus' name. If you receive that, say, I receive it. Amen. Amen. Thank you once again for all of your gifts to us. It really is appreciated. Amen. I think so.